Hello Aquarius and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Astro Tarot reading as we take a look at the retrograde of Pluto in Capricorn, Neptune in Pisces, Saturn in Aquarius, and you are going to feel the Saturn impact in Aquarius, especially if you are experiencing your Saturn return. And we also have Jupiter in Aries, along with Chiron, the wounded healer. So I feel that this Jupiter Chiron energy is really expanding our healing abilities and the way that we do healing. There's expansion there with Jupiter as well as healing benefits. And I feel that that is going to be bringing about some big soul healing and growth. So let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Uh, this is a general tarot reading meant for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. So let's take a look at Pluto and what soul lessons he's been uncovering. Uh, now he has been in Capricorn for quite some time and he's going to be remaining in Capricorn until October 8th, 2022. Now he is going to be revisiting the time period through March through June of 2021. So try to recall what was going on in your life between March and June of 2021, because again, Pluto is revisiting that area and he's helping us to clear out old patterns to make room for something new. Now this is going to have a great impact on the cardinal signs of Capricorn, Aries, Libra, and Cancer. It's also going to impact the other earth signs of Taurus, Virgo, and of course, Capricorn. So let's take a look at the soul lessons that Pluto has been trying to uncover and bring to your attention. Okay, and we have health. That's interesting because Capricorn, I just did Capricorn, and this is the same card that came up in the same position. So if you have Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising in Capricorn, you may want to check out the Capricorn reading. So here we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, if you aren't already uh, taking better care of yourself, and keep in mind, as our health need changes as we age, so too does the way that we take care of ourselves. So let's take a look at the wisdom that comes with this. Now, perhaps some of you Aquarians may have experienced some kind of health issue. Uh, so that kind of brought to your attention uh, your need to take care of your physical vessel, to honor it. And this might be something that you know intuitively because Pluto is the underworld. He is our shadow self. And our shadow self knows everything about us. And this could be your shadow self giving you a nudge. Go do that checkup. Uh, this, there's something going on here. You need to adjust what you eat, exercise, however that applies to you. You may have special health needs that need uh, professional help. Here we have no place like home. Oh my goodness. Again, 
this is the exact same card that came up for Capricorn, again, in the same position. Wow, this is really amazing because I shuffled these cards. <laughs> okay, so your best healing is going to be done at home. There's no doubt about that. We feel more comfortable at home. Okay, let's move on to Neptune here. So Neptune just recently went retrograde on June 28th, and he's going to remain in retrograde until December 4th. Now Neptune is about our subconscious as well as our inner child, but also about our dreams. This is a dream world. And Pisces, Neptune is very much at home in Pisces because well, Pisces is this deep watery sign. So it's perfect for those deep dreams to be stirring up and surfacing up into our consciousness. So this is also a time to think about what inspired you as a child and what still holds your interest? What is there something that you always wanted to do that you felt like you were put on this planet to do as a child? What did you pretend to do when you were a child in make-believe? Uh, and again, are those interests, is there something of that that still holds your interest. Now, some of you, it might be some kind of creativity, some kind of art. It could have been that you had an interest in certain kinds of science fields uh, or environmental issues. And again, what still holds your interest? This is your soul guiding you to your soul purpose and your growth, and you will find health and healing there. And it might be a place that you start at home. Now, again, uh, like I said, for Capricorn, this might be uh, relocating, perhaps the place that you are currently living in. It has changed so much around you because again, Pluto has been physically tearing up the world and making permanent changes to get rid of all those old patterns that aren't going to serve the new Aquarian age that we're transitioning over to. And we have eyes on the prize. Trust the guidance of your North Star. Now you may want to pay attention to where your north node is on your natal chart and how it's reacting or responding to the transiting north node because our north node is like the north star in our natal chart it's where our achievements are it's part of our soul purpose. It's what our interests are guided towards. And here you have health. So you're staying focused on your health. You know it's something that needs to start at home. You need to live what you are transitioning to. And it might be something that you expand into a business, working out of your home as well. Uh, perhaps you become some kind of healthcare professional, uh, whether it's uh, diet, exercise, uh, Reiki, any kind of energy work, Jinshin, uh, crystal healing. But I get the feeling that it's going to be eating properly and also including supplements. And you are going to basically be living your talk. You're going to be walking your talk, Aquarius. Let's see what kind of energy is tied into your eyes on the prize. 
Okay, door to value with the number 31. Yeah, you're beginning to understand the value of what you have to offer. You, if you organize it correctly, you can turn this into a business that you can work out of home. Now, health could certainly involve comedy because laughter is great for the health. This could also be meditation. This could be <clears throat> anything that is to the benefit of everyone's health as well as your own. This could also be reworking how health insurances um, take care of their clients because I, I do hear a lot of complaints about that and there are going to be needed changes in that realm. And it seems like that you have a new way that's trying to come in through your dreams. The doors of your subconscious are opening up and showing you a way to not only bring good into the world, but also to benefit you in a material way. And again, it could be that you're working out of your home. Okay, let's see what kind of energy is coming. Oh, let us move over here to Saturn, sorry. Let's look at the lessons of Saturn because Saturn is about the boundaries, about how the guidelines that we work within. And we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. That is very Aquarian because Aquarius is about honesty, about being truthful. Even if the truth hurts, it's better than the lie. Let's see what wisdom comes with that. And I feel like that what you want to create here is something that meets your high standards and your integrity of truthfulness. And your eyes on the prize is, you know, being truthful, making an honest buck because you're worth it. You put the work and effort into what it is that you're doing. And I can't help your health and home. This could also be for some of you who uh, your health issues may be keeping you homebound. And you have to develop another way into fulfilling your soul purpose when actually this situation is what brings you to your true soul purpose. It's part of the wisdom that comes to you and your honesty is going to inspire others. See chaos and conflict. Where there's chaos and conflict, honesty, the truth, is the North Star, the eyes on the prize. Trust the guidance of your North Star. How can you trust something that isn't honest? And even with chaos and conflict, you know, depending on what the conflict and chaos is about, is it based on dishonesty or is it based on a difference of perspective because that certainly does happen in the business world it, even in science it happens but you bring this calm because 
you have this nice protection with home where you feel safe and healthy. You have control over your health. Uh, I just saw maybe some of you uh, might have some OCD where things must be very clean and things must go back in the place they belong. You're a very neat and tidy person. And, th and this chaos and conflict throws you off. Perhaps that's why you need to work at home and you're just being honest with yourself. Perhaps this is something that is uh, just now emerging in you because you're recognizing that the outside world is chaotic and full of conflict. And that's certainly true because Pluto has been making permanent changes in the world and has had a world impact because Capricorn represents governments, um, business exchanges, biz how people do business, anything that has some kind of organization to it. Capricorn overseas and Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn. So these two planets in many ways are working together. Pluto is coming in and saying all this stuff is outdated. Yeah, I'm going to create some chaos and conflict, but it's for the higher truth here. Sometimes you just got to clear out the crap to get down to the truth of the matter uh, so that you can trust the guidance of your North Star because it is your North Star that you're going to remain focused on that enables you to all the chaos and conflict is going to be more of a peripheral thing for you. You're not going to allow yourself to get caught up into that. Okay, let's consult the Dream Oracle for the benefits of Jupiter and healing benefits of Chiron. There, look at this. There's no place like home. Look, we have no place like home over here. How crazy is that? I'm sorry, my cat just bumped the camera. And she wants to lay there. Okay, look at this. There's no place like home. Nestle in the sweetness. And here we have with number 50, no place like home. This is number six. Okay, yeah, this is really, I feel like that many of you just would rather create a happy, pleasant home that's very healing for you, where you feel comfortable, where you feel your healthiest because you have control over your living space. And here, there's no place like home again. That You have home on the mind, Aquarius. And the Aquarian New Age is about bringing in the new, new age. And the energy with this is third chakra, Archangel Shemuel. Yeah, when we're at home, we feel very confident in who we are. Because we're at home, we are the ruler of our castle. And we are very comfortable there. Okay, let's go deeper into this with some tarot cards. Okay, and we start with the Page of Cups. Yeah, you're feeling very comfortable. The Page of Cups is a youth. He's more of a poet, so he has kind of a poetic, philosophical kind of way of thinking. He likes to have a little bit of wine and some good conversation. That's kind of how uh, the Page of Cups is. He's very creative. He can be a romantic type personality. 
And here we have the Hermit, which is interesting because, uh, let me get him in focus for you. The Hermit likes to uh, bring the light into the darkness. And sometimes the poet, the Page of Cups, can enlighten us in his intoxicated state and bring to light things that are in the darkness, things that are in our subconscious. So it seems like a very good conversation here between the Page of Cups and the Hermit. Now the Hermit is also the old wise one and it very well could be that somehow the Page of Cups is serving the Hermit in order to gain some of the wisdom of the Hermit, wisdom of the wine. Okay, then we have the Queen of Wands ruled by Leo. She is bringing the confidence and creativity and uh, letting you believe, you know, giving you that energy that you somehow need to believe in yourself, believe in your ability to create the world that you want to be. The Queen of Wands, for her, she's ruled by Leah. All the world is a stage for her. And it's just a matter of how she enters into the scene. How much of the scene is she going to be? Is she going to be in the limelight? Or is she going to be a behind the scenes character? It, it's up to her. And she likes to play all those roles. Next, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, she, this Queen of Wands, I feel, is extremely creative. She's dabbling in many forms of creativity. Uh, she's been keeping herself busy with this creativity. And in a way, inspiring you. Because with the Eight of Pentacles, busy at work, this queen knows the value of her work because she has practiced. She's put hours into her profession, into her perfecting her art. And this is the dream world with Neptune. Keep that in mind. And I'm speaking in archetypes when I speak of these characters because the Queen of Wands, it's just divine feminine energy has nothing to do with your sex or orientation. This is divine feminine energy that is um, the actress. You know, she comes into the scene on the world, but she also works very hard behind the scenes in perfecting her art. Okay, we have the tower card here with the chaos and conflict. Not surprising at all there with the chaos and conflict. This is divine intervention of the truth being revealed, setting you free, tearing down the walls that were imprisoning you. And now you're falling from that. Uh, you're, and it can just kind of rock your world. Now, for some people... This could be the loss of a career, the loss of a job, something that's devastating, something that you weren't expecting, something that took you by surprise, and it threw your world into chaos and conflict. And now we come down to the honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others. This is all the fallacies. They weren't built on a foundation of honesty, and that's why they're failing. That's why they're falling apart. The lies are unraveling. But you can expect the truth from yourself. Be honest with yourself. And for some of you, this could be taking a good, long, hard look at yourself. 
um, because you're being forced to. And this devastation of the tower could actually be the tearing down of that framework. Because again, Pluto is breaking up all that stuff in Capricorn, which Saturn rules over, and it's being all torn up. And Saturn is witnessing, you know, the past being torn up, but he realizes that it's to make room for something new. And look at that, how beautiful. The Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Now this new beginning could take effect in the autumn because uh, the Ace of Wands does kind of represent the autumn time. Uh, there is great inspiration. You're going to be inspired by this. This is the wand of honesty that you're holding. The wand of inspiration. Inspiration doesn't lie. It moves us because there's something true about it. Next, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, this is an emotional situation for you. And really, there's no place like home for you at this time. This is also a time for you to pay attention to your dreams. Check out the puppies who are reflect, reflecting, <laughs> whose reflection is in the floor below them. This is your subconscious mind bringing something to your conscious, into the material. So from the reflection, you might see that which is around you. So this is a time of reflecting. And Jupiter is the planet of abundance, benefits, joy. As I said, Jupiter likes to have a good time. And there's no place like like home, you know, and nestle into the sweetness. So enjoy this emotional healing because the Queen of Wands, she's ruled by Scorpio. She sees that which is hidden. She understands the occult. She probably practices the occult and she sees she understands that this tower had to fall down as some part of you deep down inside knew that it was coming but you are safe at home and here we have the fool with a brand new beginning rebirth and it's interesting that he's your last tarot card because we have the Page of Cups here. These two are very similar in their archetypes. They both like to have fun. This is your opportunity to make your work fun or to turn your fun into something of value and a new way of working because I feel like that you're really drawn home here because you have no place like home here twice on both sides of your reading. It's fascinating. Okay, let's now look at your starlight. Let's give these cards a good shuffle. And we start with trust. The light in you cannot be dimmed. And no matter what happens, you have a light that shines within you. And here on the farthest planet, now reduced to a planetoid, but still a very important archetype in astrology, we have Pluto, who hardly gets any light at all. But he still has light and it cannot be dimmed. And trust this change. Trust this destruction and change that Pluto's bringing. Okay, you'll want to set up your energy boundaries. 
put a ring around yourself and your energies. This is to protect you. This is to prepare you. In your dreams, I feel like you have a feeling that this tower is coming. This chaos and conflict is coming because you have your eyes on the prize for a reason. You're doing this work, which seems like it's at home that you're doing this work or in your studio. And with the Queen of Wands, this is your personal creativity. And look at her. She is the staff. She's all ready to set the energy boundaries all around you to keep you safe. And Leo happens to be your posing sign. And that can be beneficial if you can balance those energies. Next, we have Navigate. Beacons of light in the sky are there to guide you. Well, wow, how interesting with this tower card, because we have the lightning bolts, the divine lightning bolts. Those are the beacons of light in the night sky that are there to guide you, telling you, get out of the tower. It's coming down so that you can now be, you'll be set free to follow what is true for you. And then we have self-care. Again, another focus on your health spoil yourself in the moonlight yeah go out sky clad if you can on a full moon and absorb that full moon air it is great time of the year in the summertime so you won't be cold if you're out there sky clad and just let the moonlight bathe you in its healing light Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care, and thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. It's been really helping making it grow. Thank you.